Hello, dear students. Welcome to Bio Vidyalaya. I hope you all are doing very well. Today, I am coming with a topic from Ecology of CSAR Net Syllabus. Here, we are going to discuss about Lodka Volterra model for competition. This is a little bit confusing topic, but I will try to explain this concept as simple as possible. After watching this video, comment me whether you understood this concept or not. So, let's begin. Lodka Volterra model was developed by two people, Lodka and Volterra, independently. This model was developed to allow ecologists to predict the potential outcome when two species are in competition for the same resources. That means this model is helpful uh, for ecologists to predict who will be the winner of the competition. Okay. And it is based on intraspecific and interspecific competition between species. We already discussed about intraspecific and interspecific competition in one of our lecture video. Please do watch that video. The link is here in the below comment section. And also please watch logistic and exponential growth videos. Both the links are in here in the below comment section. Okay. So you have to imagine that this is an ecosystem and i introduced species one to this ecosystem okay before that you have to remember that if resources are unlimited then population will show exponential growth okay if resources are limited competition will occur and then population will show logistic growth here uh, resources are unlimited Okay, and uh, here I introduce species fund. How many individuals? 10. And carrying capacity of this ecosystem is 5000. So it can accommodate maximum 5000 number of species fund. Okay, so what will be the uh, exponential growth equation? Because here the um, resource is unlimited it will show exponential growth so what will be the equation for exponential growth dn by dt is equal to rl so here dn1 by dt okay this is for species 1 that's why i given n1 okay so here r1 n1 this is the equation okay so just imagine that in the same ecosystem I introduced species 2 okay species 2 okay here species 1 is absent okay species 1 is absent I introduced species 2 okay and uh, here um, resources are unlimited and carrying capacity of this ecosystem is this is for species 2 okay uh, carrying capacity is 10,000 and here I introduced 10 number of individuals and what will be the exponential growth equation? Okay, this will be the exponential growth equation. So here you have to re uh, remember that if uh, resources are unlimited, then population will show exponential growth. Next is second condition. I will draw one more time. Here, species 1, only species 1. And here, only species 2. What is the carrying capacity of species 1? 5000. And for species 2? 10,000. Right? Okay. Just imagine that I introduced 5000 individuals to this ecosystem. Okay. Here I introduce 5000 individuals to the ecosystem. Here you know that the carrying capacity itself is 5000. So population size is 
equal to carrying capacity, isn't it? N is equal to K. So, what will happen? Intraspecific competition will occur. Intraspecific competition means competition between spe same species, members of the same species. So, intraspecific competition will occur. Intraspecific competition will occur. So, what will happen? Then we can see logistic growth because this members of the same species will fight for the same resources. They will compete with each other for the same resources. Then it will show logistic growth. What is the equation for logistic growth? D n by dt is equal to rn r1 n1 into k minus n1 divided by k. So, this is the equation for logistic growth and same here for um, species 2 also. Then here what will be the equation? d n2 by dt is equal to r2 n2 into k2 minus n2 divided by k k2 here k1 okay so if uh, population size is equal to carrying capacity and uh, resources are limited then we can't see exponential growth population will not show exponential uh, growth it will show logistic growth and the equation will be like this okay so next third condition now we are entering into our lotka volterra equation just imagine that species one is already here in this ecosystem and what is the carrying capacity 5000 okay just imagine that i introduced 3000 individuals to this ecosystem 3000 individuals of uh, to this ecosystem this 3000 is closer to 5000 right so here intra specific competition will start that means this members of the same species will compete for each other for the resource okay so intra specific competition will start okay at the same time I introduced 100 species 2 members to this ecosystem. Already there is intraspecific competition. At the same time, I introduced 100 species 2 individuals to this ecosystem. Then what will happen? This species 2 will start fight with or this species 2 will compete with species 1 for the same resource. So, what will happen? Interspecific competition will happen. Interspecific competition will start. Okay. Now, in this ecosystem, both intraspecific competition and interspecific competition is there. Okay. So, what will be the equation? Equation will be like this. dn1 by dt is equal to r1 n1 into k1 minus n1 minus alpha 1 to n2 divided by k1 okay here this is representing intra specific competition and this is representing inter specific competition i will uh, split the equation then you can understand better r1 n1 k1 divided by k1 to 1 minus n1 divided by k1 n1 divided by k1 minus alpha 1 to n2 divided by k1 okay so here this is representing intra specific competition okay and this is representing 
inter specific competition okay and this alpha is representing competition coefficient okay so what is the logistic equation when species 1 is growing alone d n 1 by d t is equal to r 1 n 1 into k 1 minus n 1 divided by k 1 this is the logistic equation when species 1 is growing alone okay and this is the equation lorca voltaire equation for species 1 in the presence of species 2 so the equation is dn1 by dt is equal to r1 n1 into k1 minus n1 minus alpha 1 2 n2 divided by k1 here k1 means carrying capacity of species 1 in the absence of species 2 and n1 means population of species 1 and alpha 1 2 means alpha 1 2 means it is a competition coefficient that is expressing the effect of species 2 species 2 on the growth rate of species 1 okay and uh, r1 means it is the intrinsic rate of increase of species 1 okay and next is logistic growth when species 2 is growing alone species 2 alone what is the logistic growth equation d n 2 by d t is equal to r2 n2 r2 means intrinsic rate of increase of species 2 n2 means population Uh, size of species 2 um, into k2 minus n2 divided by k2 okay and this is lorca voltaire equations for species 2 in the presence of species 1 okay so dn2 by dt is equal to r2 n2 into k2 minus n2 minus alpha 21 n1 divided by k2 here alpha 21 means it is the co competition coefficient that is expressing the effect of one member of species 1 on the growth of growth rate of species 2 okay so next is if competition coefficient here alpha 1 2 is less than 1 then we can assume that effect of species 2 on species 1 is less than the effect of species 1 on its own members that means if alpha 1 2 the competition coefficient is less than 1 then we can assume that inter specific competition is less as compared to intra specific competition okay intra specific intra specific competition is less and uh, if alpha 1 2 is greater than 1 then we can assume that the effect of species 2 on species 1 is greater than the effect of species 1 on its own members that means if alpha 1 2 is greater than 1 then inter specific competition is more as compared to intra specific competition okay inter specific competition is more and then alpha 1 2 is equal to 1 then we can assume that intra specific competition is equal to that of inter specific competition okay in some book you can see that alpha and beta instead of alpha 1 2 and alpha 2 1 okay 
that you have to remember this is very important you have to remember this you will get uh, csir net question based on this concept okay i hope this concept is now clear for you and try to solve this question and comment your answers in the below comment section and also let me know whether this video is helpful for you or not okay so here i am winding up this lecture video if you like this video and find it helpful then please click the like button share this video with your friends and also don't forget to check whether you subscribe this channel or not if you didn't subscribe then please subscribe right now and turn the bell icon to all keep learning thank you